can't do it. I'm going to sit in your chair. Yes, please do. All right. Uh, this is a forgiving crowd, I'm quite sure. Right? It's a forgiving crowd. <laughs> All right. My name is Sasaki Sadako. I am 11 years old. I live in Hiroshima, Japan, with my father, my brothers, and sister, and my mother. The year is 1954, nine years after the bomb. Mama? Mama? Oh, Sadako-chan! Sadako-chan! What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Catch me, Mama-chan! You can't catch me. <laughs> Uh, can't you keep still? Hold still. I'm sorry, Mama, but how much longer? I have to go on a run before it gets too dark. A run? Honestly, Sadako-chan, do you think all this running's proper for a girl? Can't you try to be more like the other girls? Take Yoshiko-chan, for example. So quiet. I try, Mama. I really do. I try and I try, but I can't. Maybe I'm not a real girl at all. Maybe, maybe I'm some spirit that's taken over my body. Maybe I'm a wild animal. Oh, Sadako! Maybe I'm a horse. <laughs> Hold still. Or, or a gazelle. Dung, dung. <laughs> Sadako! Or a cheetah. Rawr. That's enough. Keep this up and you won't be going outside at all. I'm sorry, Mama. It's just that I'm so excited. Our teacher, Mr. Nomura, just told me I've been chosen to be on the relay team next field day. Good for you. With your energy, you'll burn up the track. So can I go outside now to practice? Don't you want a new kimono? It will be beautiful, Sarako-chan. You will look just like a Kokishi doll. I don't want to look like a doll. Well, don't you want people to find you attractive? Do you mean boys? <laughs> I don't care what boys think. I can run faster than most of them anyway. Well, I'm sure you'll change your mind in a year or two. That's it. Maybe in a year or two. Maybe in a year or two or I'll change my mind about boys. Maybe. Maybe in a year or two, I should think about making you a new kimono. All right, outside with you, my little animal. <laughs> Sadako-chan! Walk. <laughs> I practiced and practiced for the big race every day, even when it rained. When the day of the race arrived, I saw my family jostling their way to the front of the crowd. My best friend, Yoshiko, was with them. I had no idea how many people would be here. Ah, there's a good spot. The starting official raised his pistol, and... Done! The race was on! I was the fifth person to run in a five-person relay, but I couldn't stand still. Hurry up! Who's winning? I was ready to run, but I looked. I, we haven't even made it to the first pass off yet. <sighs> Mama's here today. I wonder what she'll think about all of this. It's not very ladylike. Then, all of a sudden, it was my turn. I've never seen her race before. It's certainly not very ladylike. No, but it's beautiful. Fly, my Sadako-chan. Fly. Run, Sadako! Run! She's still in third place, and they're coming into the final turn. That's Kyoko in first, and Mitsu's, Mitsu's second. Look, Mitsu's trying to pass Kyoko, and Sadako! Here comes Sadako! Run, Sadako! It's Kyoko! No, Sadako! No, Kyoko! No! Sadako, it's... It's Sasaki Sadako of the Bamboo Team! I could hear everybody cheering, but I felt dizzy. In a few minutes, the dizziness went away. My parents were very proud, but after field day, the dizziness came back and came back again. I loved my parents, but I didn't tell them. Too many people get sick in Hiroshima. 
Days later, Sadako and her friend Yoshiko are skipping rope together. How's your digestion? My what? <laughs> your tummy. <laughs> you, you jump in, okay? Okay. Okay. They skip together again, laughing. What? What's the matter, Sadako-chan? Nothing. Sadako-chan! Sadako-chan, are you teasing me? It's, it's nothing. Are you teasing me? No. Mrs. Sasaki! Mrs. Sasaki! An ambulance takes Sadako to the hospital. In the next few days, the doctors did their tests. When no one was looking, I read the results. Yoshiko enters, carrying a gift. Sadako-chan, Sadako-chan, are you awake? It's me, Yoshiko, hi. They don't usually allow kids to visit on Thursdays, so I lied at the desk. I told them I was 21. How are you feeling? Fine. They're just doing a few tests. I know. Mr. Nomura says you'll be back at school again in no time. You know what we did on Sunday? We all went to Mr. Nomura's house again, clam digging, and he boiled sweet potatoes for us to eat. You should have seen Tomiko. She ate four. I was disgusted. How many did you eat? Five. Small one. <sighs> Yoshiko-chan, you're my best friend, right? Well, you've got to tell me the truth. I, they did the test results already, and I read the results. I know I wasn't supposed to, but no one would tell me anything. But there must have been a mistake. The tests say I have leukemia from the bomb. That can't be true. Sadako-chan, I, I can't, I can't. It's all right. You don't have to say anything, Yoshiko-chan. I know I'll be all right. I don't feel like I'm going to die. Oh, Sadako-chan, of course you're not. Mr. Nomura says people don't always die from leukemia. Oh. So it's true. Oh, Sadako. Sadako-chan. Mr. Nomura. Mr. Nomura says if anybody can get better from leukemia, it's me. Is that true? Did Mr. Nomura really say that? Of course it's true. Didn't I tell you? They didn't tell me anything. to help you get better. Don't you know the legend of the paper crane? I can't remember. Well, cranes are supposed to live for a thousand years, right? Yes. Well, the legend says that even if you're very sick, if you fold 1,000 paper cranes, the gods will make you better. They'll give you a long life, just like a crane. Oh, Yoshiko-chan, let me see it. Yoshiko gives the crane to Sadako. Sadako addresses the audience. It was like holding a living bird in my hands. I could almost feel warm feathers and a heartbeat. And I could feel my own heartbeat right down to my toes. Thank you, Yoshiko-chan. Sadako begins folding her first paper crane. I kept folding cranes, and then I started to feel better. The doctor said I could go home. I enjoyed being home. I went for a walk with my family, and I felt like an ordinary girl. It was a beautiful time, but I wasn't surprised when I got sick again. When I went back into the hospital, my mother brought me a present. A new kimono? Cherry blossoms? Oh, but I stayed up all night to sew it. But I might never get to wear it. Please, Sadako. Help me put it on. You look beautiful. Just like a Kokishi doll. Yes, just like a Kokishi doll. It's beautiful. Thank you very much. 
Mama Chen, will you sing me the song about the cranes? Yes, yes, you have so many now, more than a thousand. Soon you'll get better. Yes. Oh. Heavenly cranes fly away. Each year you must leave. When the season comes again, you'll fly back to me. When I died, I was holding Yoshiko's crane. My mother's arms were around me. I knew I would never be alone. Nuclear war is a scary thing, but all over the world, people are looking for ways to help stop it. There are peace talks and peace marches, and in Japan, there's a special peace monument. After Sadako died, her friends raised $20,000 to build a special children's statue for peace. The statue is like a mountain with a girl who looks like Sadako standing on top. She's holding a golden crane in her hands. Now, kids from all over the world sent thousands and thousands of crane to the statue. They used the statue to say, this is our cry. This is our prayer, peace in the world.